Let's cut to the chase. You're here because Airshow does this when you launch it, or it does this when you try and download it. So this is the definitive guide on what happens when Airshow stops working and what your options are. Let's start with this. Sometimes Airshow doesn't stop working for everyone at the same time. So if it's still working right now, save all of your recordings to your camera roll and as best practice, you should do this whenever you make a screen recording. Airshow can stop working at any time and when it does, you lose all of your recordings that are still in the app. So be prepared for the outage. Okay, so what actually happens when it stops working? When you get the untrusted enterprise developer error and it can't be fixed by going into the general settings, profile and device management and trusting the enterprise app, this means the certificate that was used to sign the app has been revoked, cancelled, killed by Apple. Why does the certificate get revoked? Well, certificates are issued by Apple to developers to test out their apps. But we all know that Apple hates iOS screen recorders, although no one is entirely sure why. So the certificates are most likely revoked when Apple realise they are being used as iOS screen recorders, and it's probably why all the certificates have weird names. That's my theory anyway, if you know more, I'd love to speak to you. Now at this point, don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your device, but the version of Airshow on your device is dead, and any recordings in the app will be lost. Also, if you try and download the app when a certificate isn't working, it will simply say it's unable to download. This will be the same for any free location where you try to download Airshow, whether it be Savage Pool, iEmulators, Tweetbox and so on. And the worst thing is, this happens frequently. Sometimes it can be months, usually it's weeks, and occasionally it's days between a certificate getting revoked. It's frustrating I know, so here are your options. Option 1 is to simply wait until the developer gets a new certificate. Their Twitter feed is at show underscore TV, and they usually post when it's back up and running. This usually takes 48 hours, but it can be quicker, but it can take longer. Another Twitter feed worth following is emu4io signed, which runs an automated update of when app certificates get revoked and re-signed. As you can see, Airshow features quite a lot. If you don't want to try any of the other options, then patience is key. And of course, once it's fixed, there's nothing stopping it from breaking again. It's the never-ending cycle, and you'll just have to put up with it. But if you really need Airshow right now, you do have options. The first is to just bite the bullet and pay for it. Bills.io offers a app download service where you can download Airshow onto one device and it will always work because there is no certificate that needs trusting so it will never get revoked. How does this work? I have no idea. But I paid for the service, downloaded it and it's never failed me. This service is $9.99 per device per year, although once it's downloaded, I think Airshow lasts forever on your device. You can click on the link on screen now for more information, and just in case you were thinking, I'm not sponsored by Bills.io. They simply deliver the service that works, which is why I recommend it for YouTubers who are serious about making videos and need access all year round. Your second option is free, but you need a PC, a program called Cydia Impactor, and the IPA file for Airshow. With these three things, you can install Airshow onto your iOS device yourself and create your own certificate, so again, that shouldn't get revoked. For more information on this option, click on screen now. Now, I appreciate that neither of these three solutions are perfect, but if you want to use Airshow, take your pick. If you're fed up of Airshow, well, there are three potential alternative iOS screen recorders. The first is video. This works in exactly the same way as Airshow in that you have to download it, trust this certificate and use it until it gets revoked. But it will use different certificates so it might go down at different times to Airshow. From a personal perspective, I found video to be unreliable and the recording of the sound can be weird. It does claim to record audio internally so it doesn't get any background noise, but it mutes the speakers when it does this and it didn't always save the recordings for me into my camera roll. However, for other people, video has worked perfectly and they've actually switched from Airshow to this new app. By all means, test it out. There's a link on screen for more information now. Next up is BB Recorder. This app briefly appeared on the App Store for those fortunate enough to download it, but it's since been removed. The best way to download it now is to get it from vShare, which is like an unofficial app store, and you can download it from there. Again, performance for me was terrible. It often failed to record, and even when it did, I couldn't get the recordings out of the app and onto my camera roll. It simply crashed. But just like video, for some users, it works perfectly. 
And finally, we have IREC 2.0. At the time of recording, this app is in a soft launch phase, and it doesn't work at all at the moment. But we can only assume that it will be fixed and launched officially soon, but just like Airshow and Video, that will go down the certificate route. And that pretty much covers everything there is to know about Airshow and iOS screen recorders for non-jailbroken Apple devices. I'm happy to help you out in the comments below, but just remember, I'm not the developer of any of these apps. I can't fix the issues. But if you did find this guide useful, then make sure you let me know with a thumbs up. And if iOS screen recording is your thing, you definitely need to check out my huge playlist on the subject and subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal for loads more in the future. Until next time, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.